This is an opera that, that starts with a scream and ends with a scream. <laughs> Between those two screams, we watch, we watch a man and his world be torn apart. Everything he knows, everything he believes is up for grabs and because he's the most powerful man in this world, the whole world around him is destroyed. His brain is, starts to turn like a, like a wheel but it's not balanced. You know, it goes like he tests love, he tests he tests law, he tests government, and he turns the world into a kind of farce or a sick spectacle. But it's not a cute parlor game. It sets in motion a kind of political confrontation with reality. The matter of Caligula is absolutely right today because the techniques of misusing power are exactly the same as in this time. I find the music very, very haunting. It's sometimes extremely violent, but it's also extremely tender and lyrical. The function of the orchestra is entirely to do with the figure of Caligula. It is Caligula. And that's unusual because it means that everything you hear is filtered through this central figure. It's absolutely his body. It's the, the blood pumping through his veins. I think of it like a kind of fever, that from that first scream, a fever has begun. We know these figures from Shakespeare, like a Richard III, the monster we're fascinated with, the monster we want to go all the way with. And our pleasure is in, in getting closer to him, getting deep inside his loneliness, but also in watching the kind of fun of the mayhem he puts around him. He blows apart the facade that everybody else lives of of kind of supposedly meaningful, happy existence. He puts a bomb under that and we, we, watch, we watch the kind of shards fall. 